Hello, and welcome to an unboxing that says Subterranean Press, but it's actually a Suntup unboxing. Although not within the fancy Suntup tape and no fancy Suntup foam. I am order lucky order 1,117,158, and you know what that means? That means it's the Butcher Boy by Patrick McCabe. So this is a Suntup artist edition of the Butcher Boy, which I had not purchased through Suntup. Uh, it was just getting, it was getting pricey, getting uh, very pricey. So you know, that little uh, styrofoam on the bottom there to protect it, so it wasn't just right on the box. And I figured, you know what, I will uh, live vicariously through uh, Jeff Terry. Uh, Jeff Terry, or also known as the Jeff Word, previously known as Jeffing Off, uh, because this was very much his book. That sounds weird. It was his book because I mean he didn't author it or anything. But, um, like, this was his book that he was like, hey, Paul Suntup, can you please publish this book? And Paul Suntup said, yes. Uh, so I was not familiar with The Butcher Boy. I'm still not very familiar with The Butcher Boy. But uh, Jeff Terry gives his novel High Praise, one of his favorite novels, so much so that he bought two artist editions. He got the, uh, the numbered edition. He was gifted the letter edition. He even has original artwork from David Lupton. Um, so one thing, and I have seen this in the photos on like Facebook, is that the sizing on the slipcase is a little, uh, little big. You got a little bit extra room there. But uh, it is what it is. Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to get this. And we, uh, we have a bookmark that comes with every Suntup book. Uh, it was hidden in the slipcase. There we go. Patrick McCabe, The Butcher Boy, with a new introduction by the author and illustrations by David Lupton. Suntup Editions. There we go. 2022. So a lot of spacing in the slipcase. Uh, not really sure what's up with that. Because normally they are uh, very, very precise with the spacing. They, they still have room for... Uh, Paul said he likes to put some little extra room for some Mylar dust jackets. Uh, the good news is you can Mylar your Mylar, and then you can Mylar that Mylar, and you will still have room for the Butcher Boy in its slipcase. There's the full wraparound cover artwork from David Lupton, image of Patrick McCabe. Uh, if you're watching this, you're probably already subscribed to the Jeff Word. If for, if for some reason you're not, link in the description below, you should definitely go check out his videos. Um, he has done interviews in addition to his love letter to the Butcher Boy and unboxing every edition. Uh, he has also done interviews with Patrick McCabe and David Lupton on the artwork. So there is a pig right on the cover, the Butcher Boy. Um, I did eventually get this because Subterranean Press got a bunch of overstock copies and said, hey, we're offering them for, it was like 35 bucks off of what the list price was. And I was like, you know what? That is more my style, saving money. I mean, you could save money by not buying the books, I suppose, but you know what? Shut up. <laughs> So, originally published in 92, uh, we have a new introduction from David Lupton. Beautiful illustrated end papers there. Copies are still available through suntup.press. Uh, Suntup Editions always put out beautiful, beautiful works. Uh, I don't know if any of the reduced priced copies are still available through Subterranean Press. I imagine they are not. But if they are, I'll link to that below as well. I mean, I'm going to link to Subterranean Press anyways because you should definitely check them out uh, but anyways the butcher boy tells the story of francis also known as francie a child with an alcoholic father an emotionally and physically abused mother and uh it's described as kind of a combination of like uh, francie is kind of like holden caulfield from uh catcher in the rye combined with uh hannibal lecter that's probably a spoiler. Not the Hannibal Lecter, that illustration. Um, and there in the back, we have our signature from David Lupton. Very, very nice. It's limited to 1,000 copies. Uh, apparently, the boy's delusions and fantasies kind of are pretty dark. And it uh, crosses between uh, imagination and reality. But uh, very much looking forward to diving in, especially for a reduced cost. So yeah, copies are still available through suntup.press. Uh, you can probably get them on the secondary market for cheaper than list price, because unfortunately that seems to be happening right now.
but there are also other artist editions available through Suntup, including uh, Handmaid's Tale, uh, Blackwater is now shipping, uh, there are still copies of uh, Animal Farm still available, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for uh, watching and for Subterranean Press for offering this for a reduced price, and for Suntup for making just a pretty darn good book. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you around next time.